Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rufneet and today I am back with my Pandos eyeshadows update. This is a really exciting update and I'm really excited to share all the pans I have hit with you guys. And this project was originally started by Alexi. So basically you just kind of roll in five random shades to work on and once you hit pan, you roll in new eyeshadows in its place. I have few rules for this project. I won't be rolling in any eyeshadows that are kind of intersecting with other eyeshadows I'm working on. So for example, with my pan that palette, because that way it's going to slow down my progress on all of these projects. And my other rule is I can roll out an eyeshadow after using it 20 times. But so far I have not done that. I've hit pans on them and then roll them out. And this month we have some rollouts, but before we get into the update, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel because I make a lot of panning videos. Now let's start with our very first eyeshadow. So it's been here since two months and it comes from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Aina palette. And we were working on the very first shade in here, which is called Soleil. So this is how it was looking like last month. Drum rolls, please. And this is how it's looking like today. We were able to hit huge pan on this guy right here. So last update, I had only used it three times and then I managed to use it five more times to get the pan. And then I used it two more times to expand it because I really like my pants a little bit more bigger. <laughs> and in total, it took us eight uses in this project to get the pan and I had actually a lot of previous uses on this eyeshadow so i had 57 uses on this one can you believe it simply because i was only putting it in my inner corners and that's the reason the progress was all over the pan it wasn't centered at a specific place but then i just focused on one place and i got the pan in eight uses so in total we have 67 uses on this eyeshadow now not in this project but just overall in this project we've only used it 10 times and eight times to get the pen so this one is rolling out and the next eyeshadow that's been in this project for two months is the shade called amazon it comes from my jungle lights palette from flower beauty and this is how it was looking like last month last update i had five uses on this guy and i used it 10 more times and this is how it's looking like today. So that's the shade called Amazon and it has 15 uses in this project. The dip is very, very huge on this guy, but we have no pen simply because I'm using my finger to apply it. And that's the reason we're not able to hit the pen yet. If I were using a brush, I think we would have gotten pan by now, but I am focusing on this whole area and I strongly believe that we'll have pan on this guy next month. So we had nine uses on this eyeshadow before starting this project and we've used it 15 times in this project. So we have more than 20 uses now and we'll see how many more uses it's gonna take us to get pan on this guy. I forgot to swatch these eyeshadows earlier. So this is how Soleil looks like from Jackie Aina palette. And that's how the Amazon shade looks like from Flower Beauty Jungle Lights palette. It is really pretty, it elevates my eyeshadow look to like some other place. <laughs> the next eyeshadow is something that I don't have a lot of progress on simply because it was so easy to ignore because this is my single eyeshadow from Natasha Denona. I got it as a gift with a Sephora purchase and this is in the shade called Helio. This is how it was looking like last month and I only used it four times since last update and this is how it's looking like today. Not a lot of difference. There's some sort of dip happening in here but nothing significant so yeah just four uses we'll see how long it's gonna take me to hit pan on this guy right here and i'm not even sure like you know if i would want to keep it in this project to get the pan because it might be hard for me to get pan on this eyeshadow but again it's a shimmer it's a beautiful shimmer i kind of like more impactful shimmers i think you know what i mean it's a beautiful shade on its own like if you're just stepping out of the house and you want something on your eyes it's one and done easy look i'm wearing it on my eyes today i have it topped off with another shade from my urban decay stoned pipes palette i think that shade is called tiger's eye and that is really really shimmery this one is like more of a 
nice traditional shimmer i feel like it won't accentuate any sort of lines or texture because it has a really smooth formula and it gives a very beautiful sheen if you know what i mean but yeah staying in for now and i had three prior uses on this eyeshadow so yeah not a lot of use on this guy and so far we have seven uses on this eyeshadow in total i mean i should not count like three previous uses but yeah four uses in this project and this is how it's looking like i think this shade comes from the natasha denona retro palette the next eyeshadow we rolled in last month comes from my hela palette by orenzai and angelica nyquist this is how it was looking like last month and that eyeshadow was also in my 50 shades of green last year for 10 uses and i have 12 previous uses on that eyeshadow and past month i used it six more times and this is how it's looking like today we do not have any fan we only have a slight dip happening on this guy right here yeah that's all <laughs> that's what 18 uses looks like and it's not a soft pressed eyeshadow formula either way so yeah that's the reason we don't have any fan or any significant dip happening but yeah we'll keep working on this and we'll see how long it's gonna take me to get the fan I mostly put it in my outer corners and I really like it because it goes from like deep to light very smoothly. And that's how the shade called Rogue Rose looks like. I would say it definitely looks deeper in the pan. And moving on to the last eyeshadow we were working on, it comes from my Norvina palette. That palette loves to stay in this project. I hit so many pans on that palette in this project because it keeps getting rolled in. And I was working on this shade called Wild Child and we rolled it in last month as well. Prior to rolling it into this project, I had 10 uses on the shade called Wild Child. And then I used it 10 more times to get the pan. This is how big the pan is. It took me 10 uses in this project to get the pan. And then I used it one more time to kind of expand the pan. And it is huge. So in total, it took me 20 uses to get the pan on this eyeshadow. So far, I have 21 uses on this eyeshadow overall and 11 uses in this project. This guy is rolling out. This is how Wild Child looks like. I was pairing green and wild child a lot last month so I would put it in my outer corners and then I would put on my inner lid and then I would put the shade called Amazon in the middle of my eyelid to kind of tie both of these guys together. I think I'm wearing that look in my project pan update video. Mostly I was wearing all of these shimmer eyeshadows as my lid shade because I'm working on another eyeshadow in my graveyard project pan to finish and I'm using that on my inner corners almost like every day i'm wearing that eyeshadow called superstar from essence bronze this way palette in my inner corners today as well because i want to finish it up those are all the eyeshadows that we were working on so the middle three eyeshadows will be rolling into the next month and we'll be rolling these two guys out and let's roll in two new eyeshadows in their place but before we do that let's go over our pan percentage i have 227 eyeshadows in total out of which 64 eyeshadows have pan and i have 161 eyeshadows that do not have pan in them and that brings my pan percentage to 28.19 percent which is really exciting i think i'm gonna set a goal of hitting 30 percent pans in my collection by end of this year we'll see if i'm able to do that but yeah i'm gonna try to get to 30 percent i have a palette from morphe it's called 35o supernatural glow and it's all neutral what i've done is i've eradicated all the matte shadows from there because they are kind of very similar to my pan that palette so i've kept only shimmer eyeshadows from that palette in order to be eligible to be rolled into this project so we will be choosing from 1 to 144 all right so let's generate the very first number number seven okay number 73 let's see what those eyeshadows are so number 73 comes from my urban decay stoned vibes palette and it's a shade called hexed 
which is a brown shade and that's the reason I won't be rolling that in. I have browns in my Pendant palette so let's re-roll another shade in its place. Number five, okay. So we are working on number five and seven. Both of those eyeshadows, they come from my Revolution X Demi palette. I already have a lot of pans in that palette. And those eyeshadows are a lot easier to hit the pan as well. I'm already working on one eyeshadow in there to finish. So I'm going to bring that palette down here and I'll show you what those eyeshadows look like. So here's what my new color story looks like. The first one is from my Flower Beauty Jungle Lights palette. It's the shade called Amazon. And the next one is my Natasha Denona single in the shade called Helio from Retro Palette. And the next one is from my Hela palette in the shade called Robe Rose. And last two ones are the ones that we are rolling in this month. Both of them come from my Revolution X Demi palette. The first one is called Mask and the next one is called Jab Jab. Let me show you what those eyeshadows look like. I'm covering the eyeshadow that I'm trying to finish because I don't want to spoil you guys. But I will insert a picture of this palette on how this entire palette is looking like. And the shades we are working on is this one called Moss and the next one called Jab Jab. So this is a nice transition sort of lid shade. I think it can pair really well with my Pan That Palette eyeshadows and also with some of the eyeshadows in my current color story. This shade called Jab Jab, it's a dark gray charcoal -y sort of shade, but it's very light, like it's not true black, it's no way near black. So I think I can still get away with using it on my lower lash line. I'm making really great progress on the shade called Pink Panther that I'm trying to finish in that palette. And hopefully when I show you these two eyeshadows next month, I don't have to cover that up for you because I would have probably finished that up this month and you've already seen it finished because yeah ever since I showed you that eyeshadow in my project pan update I've been using that consistently and I managed to make really good progress on that anyway this is the color story that we were working on last month and this is our new color story it's very fun deep perfect for fall even though I'm not ready for fall but here we are. I think I'll be able to get some really fun looks with these eyeshadows. And they're obviously going to pair really well with my Pan That palette. And of course with my Project Level Up eyeshadow palette as well. And that's all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for sticking with me until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day or night depending on when you're watching my video. I will see you in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.